Hello Pisces and thank you for being here. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Pisces placement in your birth chart. There will be an extension of this reading linked below if this is your reading or if you prefer a personal reading the link to my Etsy shop is also down below. All right Pisces, um, while meditating on your energy I heard uh, some kind of exciting downloads. I heard that you can't wait to get started on something. You're super excited about it. Um, this is a new phase, a fresh start, like kind of out with the old, in with the new. I heard letting the past go. I also heard um, you had to convince others or be convinced. Hmm, interesting. The visual I got was someone waving goodbye to others. I didn't see how many others, but it feels to me like it's, okay, onward, upward, I'm out of here. So, interesting. Let's find out where this goes, Pisces. Ah, interesting, bottom of the deck, igniting your passions. Let's see where we go with this. What do you have for Pisces for the month of December, Spirit? I feel like I'm in overdrive. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of energy in that deck. Pisces. Hmm. Twin soul at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's see where we go with this. <clears throat> Intensifying a circumstance has come to the surface and must be addressed. A triggering circumstance. I feel like this is, a, in a way, a good trigger. It's almost like something pushes you in a certain direction. Now, if this isn't you, Pisces, this could be someone you're connected with. Perhaps a twin soul. All right, we have fear. Facing fear without reservation nor expectation. That that was underscored for me. There's something about, all right, I'm going to do it. And maybe that's the others had to convince you of something. Living consciously. I feel like this is a choice to go in a new direction. Something that perhaps unfolds something beautiful for you. It might be that you've been stuck in a rut or someone has. And it's like, okay, shoot, now I've, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. Maybe I've committed to it. Or I said out loud that I would do it. And i got to do it. Okay. Let's find out what energy is at play for you in December. I was getting kind of an excited energy. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe I'm picking up on something on the other end of whatever this fear is. Interesting. Well, let, let's see how this plays out. What else do we need to see, Spirit? For Pisces, December 2021. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Whenever the cards don't want to come out, there's a stuck energy. There's something, there's something that needs a, a nudge. <laughs> First chakra, Archangel Michael. The root chakra. Um, <laughs> what I got with this, I don't mean to laugh, but I just got the calm before the storm. Oh, Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Let's see where we go with this. Let's look at your energy. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. We have two tornadoes. Healing chaos at the bottom of the deck on the split. Let's see what this is about. I, I'm almost feeling like this is, this is a long-awaited and very uncomfortable exit. That's what I'm getting. Oh boy. There's an excitement though. Why do I feel that? Hmm. Pisces energy, please. 
What energy is Pisces embodying? Release. Letting go. A couple other signs had that energy come through. Let's see what we've got. Wow. Okay, we have protection, inner peace, opportunity, blessings. I feel like spirit is pushing you in a new direction and, and I, I'm feeling like whatever this storm is, you're being protected from it. It's almost like you're you're seated beneath this huge, I don't know, oak tree and you're completely shielded and protected from something. Wherever you're headed, something is opening up for you, Pisces. Now, this could be something around uh, your work. We have an opportunity, but more broadly, I feel like whatever this this window is, let's call it that, you are you're finding a better place for yourself. It it feels to me like whatever this um, transition is it brings you something that you've been longing for that you haven't had in a while. It could turn out better than you expect. With this Blessings card, there's something really special that awaits you. Maybe that's the excitement I'm picking up on. Maybe the getting there is the hard part. Okay, let's find out what on earth is influencing this, because I... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I will tell you what I'm getting intuitively. I'm getting that someone has been in a difficult situation, maybe in sort of shadowy energy, and there is a particular person you meet, or a person, or a circumstance maybe, but I'm getting a person on your path that helps open up a whole new world for you. That's what I'm getting. But we'll see. <laughs> so what is influencing this for Pisces spirit? What needs to come through? What is influencing this situation? Wow, these cards. They don't want to come out. That's crazy. Sometimes they fly and sometimes... Mm -mm, not budging. Anything else? Taking steps, movement forward, progression. Let's see what we have. Oh, wow. We have the loving woman. I'm going to move these down. Hidden motivations. Joyous fun. I feel like the energy that's coming through is someone who's coming towards you. Now, I, I, I could be off, but I do feel like you're excited about something while someone else is, you know, shaking in their shoes. But I feel like the motivation here is happiness, joy, love, which is really a beautiful story. Now, you know, Pisces, if, if what you're after is um, a lighter energy, something that, that feels better to you, it almost feels as though wherever you're coming from has been really difficult or, or heavy. I, I'm getting um, a heavy weight on my shoulders right now. I feel somehow bogged down, like something was really taxing. The vast universe, limitlessness. I love that. Letting go your higher self, travel, happy success. Wow. Okay, so let's just say 
someone has love on their mind. <laughs> so let's take a look at how this unfolds. What can you share with us, Spirit? How will this unfold in the month of December for Pisces? In my lap. What else? Okay. Regain control, which insinuates to me, implies rather, that something has been really tough. Um, wow. Okay. This is definitely about a strong soul connection. We have the universe has a plan. Soulmate sees the opportunity, taking a risk, reliving the past, hence perhaps the risk. Okay, that's what I got. And loyalty. Okay, it feels to me like this is the door that's opening. You're taking a chance on something, or someone is, perhaps in love. Maybe this is someone who has always been there for you, or you them. Loyalty also may have been in question. I have to read it that way. Reliving the past is a sense of nostalgia about something, and it feels to me like it's it's a peaceful place and, and someone wants to return to that. I want to look at what this plan is. Clarify the universe has a plan. Okay. Mm, okay. Bottom of the deck, walking away. Is this the goodbye? Waving goodbye? We have unhealthy patterns, determination, intimacy. Um, I will tell you that when I see unhealthy patterns, it can indicate to me that there has been a third party or there may have been someone in a long-term um, marriage or connection, long-term partnership and cheated. That's what I'm getting. I'm just going to say it. I feel as though there was a connection established between you and this person that's never been broken. I think your person is breaking free from whatever. Now, if this isn't third party, sometimes sometimes I, well, more often than not, I get that with this card. But if your person has broken free, this is about coming to see you, deepening the connection. Now, these gender can be vice versa. Don't pay attention to that. But I feel that it's time to make the choice. Something has been alleviated, which helps someone make that choice. The door has opened and somebody is going to walk through it. Now it could be for some of you that because we have protection here, it feels to me like the divine is saying um, or maybe has said in the past, um, we withheld this connection from you for a reason. However direction or whatever direction that applies when somebody is sitting in an unhealthy energy, the universe may say, no, not yet. This can also be someone leaving a tumultuous situation and it's been difficult to make that choice, but once they see that open door and seize that opportunity, um, I feel like all of that stress and that intensity will be alleviated. So somebody's excited and somebody is going, holy cow, shaking in their boots. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at what will unfold. Okay, we're gonna look at your person. 
I, <laughs> I saw a tower. Oh boy. Storm is brewing. Let's find out what you need to know about your person in the month of December. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, beautiful. Brand new beginning. An offer, a gift. The promise of something solid, something to build on. Wow, the Hierophant with judgment at the bottom of the deck. I'm sorry, I haven't been showing you. And the Eight of Wands. Um, somebody's coming in fast. There's clarity. There is clarity around what brings someone long-term happiness. With the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, it further underscores that someone is coming in to offer something. Uh, let's take a look at that. So let's clarify the offer. Ace of Pentacles. This can be a commitment. This can be long-term happiness, marriage. Someone's coming in quickly. There's movement. There's communication, perhaps travel. <laughs> is this, I don't know if my person will say yes. Is that what this is? Ace of Pentacles, please. Ace of Pentacles. There we go. Well, there's the Page of Pentacles. Whoa. All right. A lot just flipped out. I'm not going to take all of those, but take a look at the sun. We have the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone coming in to balance things out. Someone strategizing on how to come back. Look at that, the star. It could be healing after some betrayal and hurt. Ace of Cups, Empress. Wow. All right. Let's put them back and get another one. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is some news coming your way. This could be a gift. It could be support. Okay, we have Justice. And, boy, they're flying out, but look at that. We have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords again, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, guys. Emperor. There is there's something big happening. The Moon. I don't think you know about this. This can represent fear also. It feels to me like somebody wants to come in quickly, and let's take a look at this communication. What are they going to say? What does Pisces need to know? What is this Eight of Wands energy, please? Okay, spirit set upright. Wow, we have the Ace of Cups. Look at that. The Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Someone wants a brand new start with you, Pisces. It feels to me like they can't wait, but they're freaking out. <laughs> You're gonna be really happy. Flip-flop it if this is vice versa. I love this. Let's get some advice for you before we go to the extended. Advice for Pisces in this situation. Advice for Pisces. Anything else? This could speak to what's being left behind and what's being embraced, so just know that. All right. It could also be vice versa. Know that. Okay, our souls are evolving and learning lessons. Sometimes we have difficult past karma to work through. Acknowledge your difficulties and heal from them. This relationship might have hit a few road bumps in the past. I feel like that's why someone feels this is a bit of a risk. There could have been an unhealthy cycle or pattern that this relationship was um, stuck in. And this is all about forgiveness, compassion, letting it go, and making the right choices. If you're going through a difficult time, connect with the divine for protection and guidance. Interesting. They will hear you. You're not alone. If I read this another way, 
and Pisces, you're leaving something that is unhealthy. It could be that this is about exiting a situation and connecting with someone because I'm getting this is this is new love. I don't feel this is someone you've been with. I don't think you've had a relationship. I think this is a relationship that's about to blossom. Overthinking the situation is not healthy. Let go of obsessive thought patterns. <laughs> that's this intensity. Somebody's shaking in their shoes. So in the extended, we're going to take a look at who's coming in your direction and what has led up to this point. What are their intentions and what will unfold? And it looks to me, honestly, like a proposal, making it official. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you for being here. The link is below if you choose to join me. If not, have a wonderful December. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in January. Take care.